I'm Mark Barrington Ward. I've lived in Oxford since 1948. From 1961 to 1979, I was editor of the Oxford Mail, and I took a keen interest in local architecture and planning. I've continued that interest as a member of the subcommittees of the Oxford Preservation Trust and the Oxford Civic Society, which scrutinize planning applications, and I'm also president of Oxford Civic Society. We're here on top of the multi-storey car park at the centre of the old St. Ebbs area, which used to be full of close-packed terraces like those in Jericho. But it was blighted by a large gas wax with its soot and smell and was subject to occasional flooding. The City Council declared it a slum clearance area and it was largely laid flat. The people were moved out to new estates on the edge of the city, largely against their will, and the whole thing came to be regarded as a planning disaster. Post-war planning did produce one enormous gain. Central Oxford was given back its riverside. The gas works were swept away. Part of the site is now a public park. There are attractive footpaths along both sides of the river and the old bridge which brought the coal wagons into central Oxford is now an attractively painted footbridge. But what happened in the rest of St. Debs was less successful. The idea of having a new covered shopping mall linked to a multi-storey car park and using the fall of the ground so that the shops could be serviced from underneath seemed attractive. The reality was disappointing. The shopping centre was too bulky and destroyed the old street pattern and the ways through and created a dead zone round it. The car park fell into decay, the escalators ceased to work and the whole thing obviously needs either refurbishing or complete replacement. Thames Street does not feel like a street because it was originally designed to be part of an urban motorway and the buildings were either drawn back from it or turned their backs on it. The ice rink and the College of Further Education look as if they've just been dropped down with no relation to the land around them. But what about the future? The City Council is hoping to get Westgate refurbished and extended and get a new multi-storey car park built by doing a deal with a developer. The whole West End area must not be considered in isolation because it is the last area where we can put new public amenities for the city, like concert hall and conference centre that has long been talked about, and possibly a new bus station which will be more user friendly than that at Gloucester Green. Another unsolved problem is whether Oxford Station will be moved. There is a danger that uncertainty over this will hold up the redevelopment plans. By 2015, what would I hope for? If I was a tourist, I would like to come to a well-equipped uh, coach park and then walk up a pleasant walk by the mill stream to the new heritage site at the castle and prison. If I was a shopper, I would like to be delivered from my park and ride car park by a good bus service to the shopping centre. I would like to see this area making a contribution to the city's urgent need for afford more affordable housing. I would like to feel that I could take any visitor to the city to this area to show him buildings that were worth seeing and that this large and neglected quarter of the city had become something that the city could take pride in.